Hello, Sam Owens here, and uh, I've got a, a, a tip here on working on your RV, the um, converter. Now, all RVs uh, and travel trailers and such have a converter. A converter is nothing more than a smart battery charger. It can sense the load in the rig and uh, charge accordingly, so it's a little smarter than uh, your average uh, charger, uh, automobile charger. So they're usually built in and you have to find them. Now mine is a, a 2003 uh, Fleetwood Pace Arrow, a 36B model, and mine is located right under the, uh, or the bathroom sink. And this is my uh, back uh, furnace uh, discharge. So let me just show you what you got here. Now I've already taken this grate off or the screws out. I've had it out before, but I just wanted to show you where they put uh, these converters. Okay, and there's two screws that hold them. And so you take it right loose. And then I'm going to have to uh, do something here. You're gonna need a tool. And also you're gonna need a, a, some, a screwdriver, Phillips, to take two screws loose in the front. One's here, one is there. You'll see them really easy. In the back are two more, but I found it's not necessary to pull those out. You can, once you get those two, lift this up and so that I can show you. And this is gonna play a interesting part in helping me to hold this up while I do the work on the converter. Uh, we're gonna show you how it comes out, uh, but before we do that, we're gonna test it to be sure that the converter is bad. So I'm gonna show you that first. But we gotta get access to it. This is nothing more than a hose clamp and anything you can get that's adjustable to hold this up will work. It doesn't even have to be adjustable once you measure how far up it goes. That's about as far as you need to go. And let's see if I've got it at the angle it needs. Nope, I might not even need that. Let's see if I can just pop this in here right there. So I just popped it right in underneath back, just something to hold it up. And there is my uh, converter right there. You can see the fan. You can see there's the uh, vent and there's the top of it. These are cooling fans right here. Yours is gonna be dusty also, so don't tell me that. Now here's the AC plug. I have mine um, a, um, a little strip here that I have mine going to and then the uh, converter plugs into the strip. Uh, I just do it that way for a few reasons. And uh, But normally this will be plugged right in there and uh, that's it. And there's not a, another place to plug anything, only that. This is a, a model PD9160A. I believe it's pretty close to the original because I haven't changed it yet. I haven't had a trouble. But let me just show you how you can check it. These, this is the positive terminal right there. Uh, they give you two places to put things there, but only one wire goes in on this side So you don't need to worry about the other side same way with the negative side is over here And it's a black wire red and black and so that's the hot lug right there that you would want to tighten if you thought they were loose now let me uh, get in here and let you see how to uh, test this. Okay. Now, this lead right here, this 
red one, which is right there, goes to your positive side of your coach battery. And the negative side, the black one, will go to the uh, negative side. There's nothing protecting these wires right here, so you need to make sure that you don't short these or ground this one. This is the positive lead. If you're not used to working around uh, high battery power, you should go and remove the positive terminal from your batteries before you even start messing with this, okay? But if you're familiar and know the precautions that you need to take, then uh, you can work with this. Now, I'm going to use a test meter, a volt ohm meter, to test the voltage across these two points. Remember, this is vacant, no wire going to it, and that has no wire. So you don't test across here to see any voltage or there. You test from here, where the, the red wire is, to the black wire, and you'll be measuring your uh, battery voltage for the coach. I have my meter in DC voltage right here, the straight lines. This is AC right here I'm pointing to. I've got them in this location, and I have a red and black lead. Now I'm going to put the red lead on the positive, and I'm going to put the black lead on the negative. And you're going to see it's measuring 13.36 or 35. That is the standard voltage that the converter puts out, if you can see that. That is a normal functioning converter. If it read 12 or less, or maybe a little bit more than 12, then what we have is, um, whoop, oh, okay. What we have is a converter that is not putting out voltage. Now, don't go ripping your converter out just because of that. There's some other things you have to check. First thing you would check is to make sure you have power going to the converter. AC, 120 volts. Now, this is the main power source. Now, I do have mine going through a, um, uh, a circuit breaker here. And I have a switch on it, so I'm going to turn the switch off, which will be the same as pulling this plug, just to make it easy for testing for you. Okay, now I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to check the voltage and see what we have. Again, red on the left positive, right on the negative black. And we're reading 12. 0.49 volts. That means I am not getting any voltage coming out of the converter. Now I'm testing the converter and now I'm going to test the AC and we're going to test the voltage coming to the um, this location in this plug. This is where all of our AC comes for the converter. Now I change this to AC setting. Now, the larger size is the uh, black or neutral right there. And the red goes in there. And now, let's see. There, 120.2 right there 120 volts so i have the proper voltage coming in now if that were zero then i would want to find out if the circuit breaker or fuse is bad providing power to here now that would be an ac uh, fuse so um you have a ac circuit breaker box inside the coach so we're going to go to that all right, here we go. My AC uh, breaker box and power supply is in the bedroom behind this little door. Now, open this up. And now, this 
these are all your AC circuit breakers this is the house side of your coach and this switch is uh, something I put in for something else uh, 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 for my generator so don't worry about that now behind this thing right here are fuses these are DC fuses right here this is all DC stuff has nothing to do with the AC here are your AC breakers one of these will could be popped uh, interrupting power to the um, converter so that's the first thing you'd have to check and that's the only thing you'd need to check this is all 12 volt uh, fuse panel right there so that's nothing you need to check in there all DC okay so there you go look for a bro all you do is push up if there's one that will move up then it's uh, tripped and then you take it off and trip it back the circuit breaker could be bad so that's another thing you'd have to test for to test to be sure that the circuit breaker is working correctly uh, you would get into the area of messing with AC voltage and uh, if you're not qualified or know the precautions needed to work on AC just stop right there and get some help because uh, you're working with uh, danger uh, working with uh, uh, AC but it would be a matter of taking this panel off if you're one of the few that know about electricity and the hazards and the safety precautions uh, you need to take and you've got a thorough background of ohm's law and what have you and you're electrical engineer <laughs> okay so i don't want anyone getting hurt just trying to do something dc is safe you don't have to worry about getting killed or electrocuted but uh, this is an area that can cause bodily harm okay and a little worse all right now actually i probably can show it there's one on the left a ground and one on the right behind there so there you can see one screw right, right back there okay probably need to just go ahead and figure on taking the cover completely off then you'll be able to see down in there. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, now, mine is okay. So I'm not going to uh, remove mine. But I'm showing you. Screw there, Phillips. Screw over here. And a power lead. But once you get those, you should be able to pull this up and get to the uh, ground lug. So it would be much easier if you go ahead and take this cover off then you can fully get in this slide shows you some cautions that you need to take like taping up these two red and black wires if you uh, remove the leads because they can short out or disconnect the power from the battery in there you see the the uh, the task you have is not that hard it's just that they put those screws in the back and they're a slot so all you have to do is loosen them don't take them all the way out and then when you get ready to push them back in you just pull it push it so if uh once you get those loose and i probably could put my screwdriver in there on either side pull this way and i think i could pull them off and uh save myself from taking that panel off but I'll leave that up to you as to what you think. And then put the new one in and plug her in. Before you put the new one in, go to your workbench or somewhere uh, you have an AC outlet, plug it in and measure those outputs that I showed you to test. Make sure there's like 13 volts or so out of there. It should be 1336, 13.36 volts. DC so have your meter in DC now okay and uh, 
I think you will have saved yourself a lot of money by doing this yourself and it's not out of the range of an average person being able to do this so uh, I'll uh, leave you with the precautions that I told you about uh, the other thing is making sure that it is the converter and not your AC breaker box okay so uh, with that said I want to thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Bye.